Hey guys, Budcat7 here. Okay, it is Monday, October 11th, 2021, and I'd like to thank you for visiting the Stonewall Research Channel here on YouTube. I really do appreciate it. All right, guys, well, this is going to be a very controversial video, so, you know, I advise you to hold on to your hats because I might say some things that aren't very kind to the victim, but the truth be told, and I think everybody should have all of the facts at hand before they make judgment on this because I think if you're feeling very uncomfortable about the things I might say, you've been subject to the brainwashing, the mass media brainwashing that everybody's been receiving because this case does not make any sense at all, okay? And I'm calling BS on everything here and <clears throat> I'm going to offer some other explanations for different things but stuff you've never heard about and if you are one of those people feeling very uncomfortable about what I say it's uh, it's even more of a reason for me to do this because as one of my co-workers said when I was talking to him about it he, he's some older overweight fellow that I work with who's really just a really nice super good guy but he said to me this he said Dave she's gone to heaven Dave and that guy killed her so I'm calling bullshit on both counts because it, it, you know if if this is the um, requirements to get into heaven that you be you know some pretty white girl from Long Island you paint some angel wings on her and uh, you know immediately she's an angel going to heaven. is this the criteria for you know getting into heaven I don't think so so then you know many people who have missing children and your children have been gone missing and they found murdered or something you never hold high profile but I mean we attribute this high profile to the fact that they were sort of minus celebrities on social media and therefore you know more worthy of reporting about I guess so you know that's a different story altogether but Let's talk about this because this story to me, I mean, I'm, I'm more firmly convinced than ever that this is a missing 411 case. More than ever. So, you know, to me, it, it strongly suggests this and this is probably going to be the most high profile one. And, you know, even if uh, Dave Politis isn't willing to consider it at all and you know he's making a mistake because this is going to be one of these high profile missing form of one cases whether people know it or not and even if Dave will accept it or not but maybe this video might change his mind but I don't know but I'm not going to be too kind here so let's follow along here with some current news about it and uh, let's see here okay so there's going to be the autopsy results tomorrow according to this article here and that's going to tell us a lot it's going to tell us about the time of death and the cause of death they've already determined the manner of death which totally is correct is that it's a homicide and somebody or something killed this girl so we know the manner we just we don't know the cause okay and there's been this ongoing autopsy where in this article here some uh, doctor here uh, you know uh, pathological uh, pathology um, 
doctor here is talking about the case and it says in the article here that it's not it's it's not that it's undetermined but it is undetermined it's been undetermined for two weeks so she's saying here that it seems okay that they've kept the body for so long see the manner is also notably not undetermined right so the manner is not undetermined but the cause is undetermined and that is why the autopsy is taking so long okay there's no obvious signs okay if there's obvious signs of domestic violence you know that would be there okay before we even get into that okay i mean the my whole suspicions about the whole thing and um in david politis missing can am okay all i know is that we have national parks we have hikers that disappear and we have a death that is undetermined okay that there's probably no cause of death okay but this is an issue and david politis talks about it all the time it's a political issue a lot of times because i don't know is not an answer okay that anybody will accept from authority it's bad for business okay i don't know is not good for business although it's the truth but when you have political reasons and dave also mentions this so many times about how they don't want to come up empty-handed so they make up a cause of death because the people are demanding answers and they can't come up with they don't know obviously not in every case and places where the pathologist is being honest about it you know they say they don't know but on the most part i don't know is not an answer that anybody will accept and you know they have to often make things up okay and david polinus goes over this all the time in his video so why shouldn't that happen in this extremely high profile case you know it seems highly likely they're probably going to come out with the cause of death and it's going to be this whole lengthy thing with all kinds of scientific analysis etc etc they're doing a toxicology test on i don't believe that she took drugs but what is you know why are you know why do we have the body for so long and this doctor here okay doctor says this is from newsweek doctor says fbi keeping victim's body from family very unusual very unusual okay so this whole case is very unusual all right yeah you can't paint you know angel wings on somebody and just say you know hey you're ready to get in because you got murdered you know that's the criteria for getting the I think it's a little bit more than that. All right. So let's look at this thing objectively here. Okay. So since this whole thing happened, the whole timeline of this laundry guy's visits there, going back and forth, making um, <clears throat> booking arrangements with uh, lodges to stay with the parents and go look for them and all this kind of other stuff right you have the footage there and i mean this guy has already been tried in the media so there's no way that you know he's going to be able to get a fair trial not at all and that has everything to do with this case as well so we'll talk about that too all right so the doctor says here to newsweek yeah the person they interviewed of some note said it's very unusual right because they can't determine the cause of death okay it's not apparent okay signs of strangulation okay these things can be determined determined immediately okay in this article here all right not this one but in 
In this article, it says, the cause of death is a disease or injury that starts a lethal sequence of events. We don't yet know Petito's, but since the manner of death has been ruled as homicide, we can conclude that Petito must have been killed by some sort of injury. The Tayton Comp County coroner has determined that this death cannot have been by Petito's own hand, nor by natural disease, nor by accident. The manner is also notably not undetermined. Okay. So, there's only so many ways that somebody can get killed, okay? Shooting, stabbing, blunt force trauma, strangulation, poisoning, or whatever. These things can be determined rather quickly, okay? They're obvious, okay? So, obviously, the signs, you know, the cause, signs of the cause of death cannot be determined very easily. And this is why they've had the body for so long and not showing the parents or anything like that. All right? And so many times in missing can and they cannot determine the cause of death. And in cases where it's high profile and there's a lot of pressure from the public or whatever, they just make something up, okay? This is what has been determined by Dave Politis, Okay? the well-known author of the Missing 411 books. All right, so you have to keep that in the background, okay, of what they're going to say and do or whatever. So you got these, this couple here, they're shown on video. And by the way, they, you know, they say in one of these articles that, um, <clears throat> Here's the article here where they say in this article that the person here believes that he wouldn't be surprised that it was strangulation because of the way that laundry grabbed her mouth, okay, that it would be asphyxiation, okay, and that's that's basically what is said in this article here. Um, okay, so what do we know about Gabby? And what do we know about Brian? So it seems that he comes from a stable household and she comes from an unstable household. Okay, so... What's going on with kids from a divorced family, okay? These key statistics, okay, about the physical effects, about the emotional effects, okay? <clears throat> In fact, study shows that the psychological effects and emotional strain of divorce even linger into adulthood. For instance, researchers at the University of Toronto found that men from families that divorced during their childhood were more than three times as likely to consider suicide than men whose parents in their divorce. Likewise, adults who are divorced may be vulnerable to drug and alcohol use in adolescence, have fear about commitment and divorce, have negative memories about the legal system. Okay, so this all sorts of things that are going wrong in this sort of thing. And she might, and seems to be from reports from witnesses about her having some sort of manic episode, okay? Some hypomanic episode where it caused laundry to try to cover her mouth to stop her from yelling in, I guess, in a public place where other people can hear her and other people heard them. Okay, so trying to say, you know, with all these domestic violence um, experts that they're bringing on in the media, so he's, again, he's never going to get a fair trial, okay, that, you know, this is all signs of this and that and the other thing, okay, when it's simply somebody trying to keep somebody quiet, like some lady trying to keep their kids silent in a movie theater or something like that and then bringing them outside or whatever, but, you know, in this case, it has to be all that, so... We don't know if the guy is the murderer or anything like that. We have no idea. So, you know, look, if you got, there's no evidence of that yet or anything. So, you know, saying he's a murderer like my buddy there is, you know, ridiculous, okay? What do we know about this girl, okay? So she's from a broken home and apparently is manic, all right? So 
I don't know about those angel wings and all kind of stuff like that. So, look, you know, she seems to be maybe a manic person or something like that. And that is also consistent with can and missing with missing four one one and whatever. People have sort of unusual sort of characteristics about them at specific times or whatever, whether they be on drugs or drunk or something like that, or slightly drinking or what, what, what it might be, or they're super smart or have some disability or whatever it is. They exhibit, you know, unusual vibrations from these people. Okay. And about the timeline about him traveling back and forth, apparently he went back home, right? And then came back again. So what's up with that? Okay. And anybody who's watched the forensic files in any number of times knows that apart from maniacs and, you know, uh, you know, uh, serial killers and psychological killers and all kinds of who dump bodies, leave them positioned, you know, t domestic violent murders seem to be where they either bury or hide the body or whatever it is. We don't really know a lot about that. But if she's in the open somewhere, it's not consistent with crimes of passion or anything like that, okay? It's more consistent with, like, serial killer um, murders, et cetera, et cetera. So... We got to know about that, okay? So here, let me tell you what I think happened with this whole thing, all right? And what's going on with laundry right now and what's going on with this case. Because, again, it doesn't make any sense from top to bottom. And I've been discussing this with a cop friend of mine, a retired New York City policeman, okay? He's on a job for 20 years, okay? So I discussed this case, and it doesn't make any sense to him either, Okay, and all the claims and everything else. So, what we have is a couple of people who go into a national park area and one of them disappears. Now, could it be that Laundry was hiking with Gabby, okay, in the park there and he turned around and all of a sudden she was gone, right? That's one scenario. Another scenario is that he left her there or she wandered off or stomped off into the distance or whatever, and not, we don't know what happened to her after that, okay? But it seems to me more likely that she disappeared and Laundry was looking for her and knew that she was manic and angry and everything else, okay? And was trying to, you know, pull one on him you know, by leaving him out there alone or whatever, wouldn't respond to any calling or whatever. He went back on the trail, figuring, you know, she just left him there to screw with him or whatever. And he, he didn't, he never came back. So he thought, you know what, I'm going home. Okay. And then later he found out about her being missing because she wasn't in touch with her mother anymore. And when made arrangements to go back with parents, evidently, to search for her, okay? Well, why would that be if you're murdered or whatever? You're going to bring your parents back there to go find her dead body somewhere? So that doesn't make any sense in itself, all right? But to me, it sounds like she disappeared into thin air. And after all the high-profile stuff with their argument there, all right, you know, of course, they're going to be looking at him you know, but I think he wasn't running. I think he really thought that she was punishing him somehow by disappearing on him and not responding to calls or anything like that, right? So he thought he was getting, you know, dished by her, all right? And this is why he skedaddled out. He thought it was over, and, you know, or he wasn't going to tolerate it and he left, all right? But then he made plans to come back, So and then he came back by himself and got the van because I guess he came back to go look for her and see what happened to her and the van was still there, okay? And at that point, he probably thought something bad happened to her and he got in touch with the lawyer or whatever and, you know, just was heading home so he could go see him and talk to him and explain to his family what was going on, okay? And, and everybody knows that, look, it was you or me, and we went back to our family and said something like we murdered somebody. They would tell us immediately to turn ourselves in. 
the lawyer would have told Morty to turn himself in. Okay, they're not going to say go hide somewhere or something like that, but that's not what he said. He came back and told him that she disappeared, and he doesn't know what happened to her. Okay, but now he's going to get blamed for it, and his lawyer knows that he's already tried in the press. He's already been tried in the press. Okay, but the lawyer also knows that they got, they have to give him some evidence. Okay, and right now they only got him on credit card fraud, and that credit card fraud is going to depend on time of death for the girl, and that's going to determine that. Um, particular um, accusation there and, and charge. So we don't know that yet. And the lawyer, I'm sure, the whole thing with the, him going to the park and all this kind of stuff is a complete ruse. What happened at the park? Did they bring dogs? Did they bring search dogs? And everything? Well, search dogs are like 99% of the time never wrong. Okay, they find their target. These search and rescue people are have like a 99% success rating. Okay, so what happened with the dog? We don't hear anything about it. Okay, one guy was down there apparently. The cop was telling me, my cop friend was telling me, Ray was telling me that there was some expert down there said, You're going about this all wrong. You're sending, you know, 300 people into this search area there, but you're disturbing any evidence that might be there. You know, why don't you, and there's all these dangers, alligators and poisonous snakes and all this kind of other stuff. You know, why not send some drones into the area to look over the area? The whole thing's been buggled. He went home and spoke to authorities. They weren't watching him like a hawk. Why not? Why wouldn't you? He's this, this murder suspect, right? So you weren't watching his house like a hawk? Okay, so doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I can tell you this. They got him at a safe house somewhere. He doesn't have to leave there. He gets his food there. And he's not out there in the wilderness anywhere. He's in a safe house. Till his lawyer gets all the evidence. Because they have to present his lawyer with all the evidence. Okay. And it's credit card fraud is dependent on what they find. You know, time of death. Okay, that all that will be, have to be revealed to his lawyer. His lawyer wants to see all that stuff. His lawyer set up a safe house, or his whole family did, and they're aware of it. The father going there to help. It's all a ruse to take him away from where he really is. He's in a safe house somewhere. His lawyer is waiting to see what the evidence is. Okay, if they have any evidence. Okay, we still don't know a lot because of the autopsy results. But to me, yeah. National parks, people hiking, disappearance, and probably no known cause of death, okay? And it's these biomechanoids, okay? Whatever dampening field or neural neutralizing field that they emit, they can just pick it up a little bit and shut you off like a light switch. There's no electricity involved or whatever it is. They can just shut off your brain activity and now you're dead. Okay, whatever sort of, you know, bioenergy phenomenon that they can produce. But this is what the story is, folks. Okay, this, this guy is in a safe house right now. They're waiting to see what the evidence is. When they see what the evidence is, if it's strong enough or whatever, they're going to tell him to turn himself in or if it's weak enough or whatever. They're going to see what the evidence is and then he's going to turn himself in or whatever it is. So this is what we're waiting for, right? Right now he's in a safe house. He's not in the wilderness or on the Appalachian Trail or anything like that, okay? But... As far as his whole thing with the domestic violence and all that kind of stuff like that, you know, domestic violence is very obvious, okay? Cause of death in most violent deaths are obvious, okay? Why do they have the autopsy going on for weeks and weeks and weeks? Why a toxicology, you know, just routine toxicology? What are they looking for exactly, you know? Drugging or whatever she said, she, she didn't do drugs or whatever it is, so... Do, you know, do we know that for a fact? You know, do we know about her mannequin? You know, seems to me, you know, the cop said to me, as far as he's concerned, she was the aggressor in these videos where he had marks on his body from her scratching his face or whatever it is. So, look, 
folks, this whole thing does not make any sense from top to bottom. I'm telling you, this is what it is. He, he went to the park there. She disappeared. She, he thought that she was trying to get back at him or was done with him or whatever it is. He left there thinking that she was going to show up sooner or later or whatever. She never did. He went back to look for her. She wasn't around or whatever it is. Okay. And at that point, I guess, you know, the mother was reporting it to the local police over there as a missing persons, whatever. He got back here. He told his parents and a lawyer that he don't know what happened to her. They, you know, got a safe house for him to stay in or whatever. And they're just waiting to see what the evidence is before we do this. But the fact that they seems that the cause of death has been undetermined now for two weeks. Okay. There's something very fishy about that. Okay. And it's David Blindis in his recent video that he just did. This is one right here that he just recent, recently did down here. He talks about how local authorities had to make something up, okay, for the sake of the public or whatever. They didn't want to come up with empty-handed, okay? They didn't want, I don't know, okay? It's bad for business, folks. This is why they got to do all these things. You look stupid when you say these things. Right? Some people are brave. They don't mind saying it because that's the truth, and they're only interested in that, despite the fact, however they look. Okay, but in some cases, it's political. So I find it hard to believe that in such a highly publicized case that they're going to be able to help themselves from coming up with some cockamamie story about the cause of death. All right. Here's the biomechanoids and the biomechanoids emit a dampening field. They're going to just shut you off. Okay, people, look. From a psychological perspective, okay, let me ask you a question, okay? Can you reason with something that has two arms, two legs, two eyes, sort of looks human-like or whatever, or can you reason with a tiger, all right? Well, you can't reason with a tiger, okay? And he's some of these things, these biomechanoids, all right? Some of these biomechanoids are tigers, right? And they can't tell people that because nobody would ever come out of their houses ever again, okay? It's not more frightening spacecraft with Little Green Man in it. It's not, okay? Because Little Green Man, despite the fact that they're up to no good or whatever it is, can be reasoned with, okay? Things that live in space can't be reasoned with that are like tigers and bears, Okay, they can't be reasoning. Highly intelligent ones even make them more mischievous than ever. All right, these creatures, okay, the biomechanoids, which are what these things are right here that live on Earth. They're biomechanoids, okay. So this is what the story is, folks. Nothing you read in the papers is what this is a missing 411 case. There is no cause of death. They're trying to find one, okay? The girl was in the park alone, or was this point of separation? One way or another, there was a point of separation with the boyfriend there. And in that time, at the point of separation is when she disappeared, okay? And she ended up dead somewhere, okay? But well, we're going to hear what the autopsy results are from them and see what they have to say about it. But I'm calling BS on it already because it's too highly publicized, this guy can't get a fair trial. And they know it. The lawyer knows it. The parents know it or whatever. There's no way that this guy can get a fair trial. And that's why he's in a safe house somewhere. And he hasn't turned himself in yet or come up anywhere. And he's not living in the wilderness. Okay. Once they find out what this is all about or whatever, the lawyer and the parents are going to tell this kid to come forward and turn himself in. Unless it looks highly suspicious to them, maybe, or whatever, and they'll tell him to stay wherever, wherever he is. But he's not in the wilderness. He's not dead. He's in a safe house somewhere. I say it is. All right? I'm a pretty smart guy. You can't get over on it. My BS detector works 100%. This is what's going on with this thing. This is like the highest profile missing 411 case that's ever going to be. 
All right, but they're going to have to bury that because they have to come up with some terrestrial answers here because they can't follow that thread at all because this is the phenomenon that's happening with these people and nobody can explain it. Even David Pilates can't explain it, but he knows it's going on. And so does everybody that follows him, okay? People in a park, hiking, turn around, one is missing, point of separation, whatever it is, okay? The body comes back. There's no cause of death. There's no obvious cause of death, okay? These vinyl mechanoids are shutting these people off. It's not like they're electrocuting them because they be signs of them electrocuting somebody. But it's not electrocution. It's some bioenergetic phenomenon that's going on that they use to probe and communicate with each other as well. It can be turned up to high degrees to form some kind of weapon and you can also turn it off because it's some weird organic energy that Wilhelm Reich was talking about and Trevor James Constable all right so this is why there's no cause of death they're switching these people off like light switches no bridge cease brain activity nothing works no heart activity all the autonomic ones go off too all right so look people i think it's going to be very controversial to put this video out there and say the kind of things i said but this is the truth okay so it's the whole thing does not make any sense whatsoever so all this unusual stuff right you know holding the body for so long without letting the parents see the victim etc etc so you know and you say well it's because she was you know mutilated and well they didn't you know this is a common headline with finding bodies mutilated body found decomposed body found nothing of that was said right which it would be remarkable if it's one of these things where in missing 411 where these people go missing and then they find them like weeks later dead or whatever it is and they've only been dead for like three or four days where were they the other two weeks right so look folks i almost guarantee that this is the scenario here i'm telling you it's just smells so badly like this this is a missing 411 case and they don't know how to handle it they don't know what to do it look if there's no cause of death there's no murder okay simple as that by laundry or anything else but they can't have that. It's just that's not an acceptable answer. So you're going to assign something, okay, And what, even if they have to make it up. And nobody's going to see the body except them, right? So what do we know, right? We know about what Dave Pilates here says. We know what Dave says, okay? Local uh, news for local results, okay? So... Look, folks, this is what's going on with this case. I guarantee you I'm a pretty smart guy. You can't get things past me too quickly, man, because I'm on the ball. All right? This is the likely scenario that I'm giving you here, okay? There's some, you know, range of possibilities in there, but I'm telling you, that's what this is. Nothing makes sense, okay? Okay? This autopsy could have been done right away if there was any evidence of domestic violence or any sort of violence. Gunshot, stab wound, blunt force trauma, strangulation, asphyxiation, poisoning, etc., etc., etc. These things can all be determined rather quickly. You don't need weeks and weeks of autopsy uh, lab work going on unless there's something very unusual about this death. Okay, so... Don't give me that. All right. You got hikers, national park, unusual death, people separated, people disappearing. People found dead with no cause of death. So, look. Get with the program here, okay? It's a missing 411 case. But are they going to reveal that at all? Are they going to follow that line of reasoning? No way. No way. But that's what it is. Budcat7 is saying it. So, and I'm giving you my evidence for it based on what we know about Canada missing and Dave Pilates' work. All right. And what 
We know at the very least that there's some unusual phenomena going on in state parks, whatever it is. All right? And people coming back with no cause of death, being found with no cause of death, disappearing and suddenly appearing. Sometimes in places they searched already dozens and dozens of times, like Dave says. Right? Because they were just dropped there. They were missing and they were dropped there. Dropped, you know, droppings as he calls it, right? And there's evidence of this dropping going on, but there's no cliffs or high places around to fall from. Okay, unless somebody got thrown up in the air by somebody else, and that's highly unlikely. So, look, folks, be very suspicious of anything they say about it. The whole thing doesn't make any sense. Does not make any sense. And we're being kept. You know, so much is being omitted from these reports that it's intentional. It's got to be intentional. So I'm calling BS on the whole thing. There's something fishy going on here, and I smell a rat, all right? So anyway, guys, you take it what you want. I'm just giving you what my opinion is, all right? Because, and like I said, I discussed it with a number of people who, I trust their opinions, okay, as official, you know, police officers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, look, think about it, guys, okay? Doesn't make sense, all right? Just think about it. All right, guys, anyway, if you like the video, <laughs> Hit the like button and uh, please do subscribe because this is the line of reasoning we're going to follow here. We're going to look at other possibilities. We're not going to go with whatever mainstream says because 9 out of 10 times there. They might not necessarily not be telling the truth, but they may be omitting enough where is whatever contentions they have are highly suspect. So, look, think about it, guys. Think about it. All right, Bugcat7, signing out. Peace.